Stroke Recovery and Prevention Rewiring the Brain Hello everyone, welcome back to our next podcast session. Today we have Dr. Sandeep joining us, Chief Ayurvedic Practitioner, Nirava Holistic Center and Krishnendu Ayurveda Hospital. As you all know, healing the brain starts with retraining your body and calming your mind. So today's session is about stroke recovery. Let's ask Sandeep a few questions regarding that. So Sandeep, let's get to the basics. What exactly happens in a stroke? A stroke occurs when blood flow to the part of brain is interrupted. In an ischemic stroke, a clot blocks the artery. In a hemorrhagic stroke, a vessel bursts. So within minutes, deprived neurons begin to die. Now, modern medicine focuses on saving tissue and restoration of circulation. In Ayurveda, it describes this as Pakshaghada or partial paralysis due to the obstruction of Vata Dosha. So both sciences agree that it's a sudden imbalance of flow and energy. So could you tell me what are the most common risk factors that you see in these kind of patients? High blood pressure is number one, followed by diabetes, cholesterol, smoking and chronic stress. Ayurveda calls these the silent accumulators. So the medo dhadu or the fat and the toxins thickens the channels, reducing flow. So when vata spikes or the dosha increases with emotional stress or dehydration, the blockages triggers the collapse. The sad part is most of these cases are preventable with better metabolic balances. So once a stroke happens, how soon should we begin a rehabilitation for this patient? So ideally within two or three weeks after stabilization, early mobilization is crucial to prevent contractures and train neural pathways because in our integrated system we start with mild physiotherapy and ayurvedic treatments externally to stimulate the nerves and improve circulation so how does ayurveda explain the recovery because they say that you you say that damaged neurons do not grow back so how do you plan that so for that we have a term called neuro plasticity, which means the brain learns to reroute. So Ayurveda helps by improving the rectha sanchara or blood flow. So calming the excess doshas and nourishing the tissue memory is the best way to do it. So therapeutic massages and herbal oil pouring therapy called pirichil is a very important treatment externally done for this. Meanwhile, we have internal detox therapies called as medicated enema or vasti, which is a very good detoxer for the gut, stimulating uh, the nerve system by nasya or herbal oils which are poured over the nasal passage is very important in this. Some herbs like brahmi are found to be very effective in enhancing nerve regeneration and cognitive clarity as well. So can these treatments be done along with modern neuro rehabilitation? Absolutely. We combine Ayurvedic panchakarma with physiotherapy and speech training. So while Physiotherapy trains the muscles, Ayurveda trains the nerves to receive the signals again. So we closely monitor the blood pressure, the blood sugar levels, the neurological status to keep patients safe. So many neurologists now support integrative rehab because recovery is faster when mind and body heal together. So what role does the mind have to play in this? A huge one. So many people having stroke always have seen to be undergoing depression and this fear often blocks this progress. So Ayurveda calls this the Mano Vata Pragova, mental wind aggravation. So this uh, symptom is corrected by giving certain treatments to relax the brain. One of the treatment is Shirodhara, which helps to calm the nerves and other therapies like meditation and guided breathing to stabilize the mind, which is also done, helps to improve the coordination. Modern researches show meditation increases the cortical thickness and functional connectivity. So this is the proof neuroplasticity in action. So what is the timeline that you see in terms of improvement? It varies. So motor recovery often starts in the first three months but can continue for a year or more. So Ayurveda helps in accelerating this healing process by supporting nerve nutrition and reducing spasticity. We've seen patients who were in wheelchair bound walk independently after consistent therapies for six to eight weeks. 
What are the preventive measures that you suggest? So control the trio, basically the blood pressure, the blood sugar and cholesterol. Walk daily, sleep well, up to eight hours is ideal and manage your stress. Second part is eat fresh warm foods, avoid excessive salt and oil in your diet and stay hydrated. From an Ayurvedic point of view, avoid day sleep, avoid heavy meals and late night work. So both thickens the channels. So what is one message that you would want to convey to the stroke survivors and their families? Never believe the brain can't heal. It can, but it needs routine, nutrition and hope. A stroke is not the end of movement. It's a call to relearn it. So recovery might be slow, but every step is a miracle of neuroplasticity. That was a beautiful, insightful session. And I hope to the listeners too. Thank you for joining us today and join us again for more sessions like this.